Hi, I'm Dr. Bardia Ambar. Today we are going to be demonstrating an incision and drainage of an abscess. An abscess is a pocket underneath the skin that is filled with purulent debris or what we also know as pus and it needs to be evacuated so that the body can heal. And if you leave it alone, then the patient will develop a temperature, worsening fevers, and infection, and it can be life-threatening. In addition to drainage of an abscess, we also will use antibiotics as well. But in this video, we're gonna be focusing on the actual procedure. So the first thing we like to do for patients is to keep the area clean. So I do like to put a cover one of these covers that you get in an incision and drainage kit over the actual abscess area there. And so you can feel here that we have an abscess. And usually what we know is we can feel with our fingers and feel where the abscess pocket is. And usually it'll be fluctuant, meaning that it'll shift a little bit and it'll be soft. And then we'll know there's fluid underneath. Already you could see some of the fluid coming out um, that should look like purulent debris or pus. Uh, in this case, we've used um, uh, liquid butter for our demonstration. Here I have a scalpel. Scalpels uh, come in different uh, tips. In this case, this is a 10 uh, blade. And so I'm going to be using a 10 blade along with a pickups. There's different types of pickups, which are basically forceps. Uh, uh, those, those terms can be used interchangeably. These have teeth on them. Forceps that have teeth on them will have a little bit more bite to the skin. So you wanna be careful doing it, especially if you're doing uh, certain procedures, but you definitely need to have this when you are working on the skin. So generally I'll find the area that there is the most uh, fluctuance or the highest uh, formation of pus. I'll try to lift the skin to stay away from any vital structures. And then I'll make an inc initial incision and I will go down until I start to see. Normally if you have a pretty good abscess, you will see you will see a lot of drainage. And as soon as you open it up, and then you can see the drainage here is coming out. As soon as you open it, you wanna make a big enough incision. Uh, sometimes you can turn your scalpel the other way um, and kind of go up and kind of cut, cut upwards so you're not hurting anything underneath the skin and go that way. Or if you have enough tension, the proper way is to kind of spread the skin and go like this to really open and open skin up. And then you can see that we have the pus there. So uh, next thing you wanna do is be very careful with your sharp. So I'm gonna be going, going ahead and putting my scalpel away. And then you can see all of the fluid here. And then you can express the fluid out uh, like so. Or you can use your forceps along with a curved hemostat or a flat hemostat and then just kind of open the pockets up uh, underneath the skin for the patient, and then really make sure you're getting everything out. Now this is, this is probably a larger incision than you should make. Um, uh, I would probably uh, not go more than maybe three to five centimeters, maybe an inch to an inch and a half. You want the incision to remain open, and that will allow for further drainage so that the abscess does not reform. You don't wanna just do this and walk away. So we've done that, and you can see that now we have this, and then all of the fluid is coming out there, and there is your um, incision and drainage.